my role within the ethics advisory board of the immune image consortium is mainly in the composition of the board there are two experts on ethics two professors of ethics and the idea was also to have a patient advocate because at the end all the treatments uh, are used by the patients, they are the final consumers. So also to have a patient representative within the ethics uh, advisor. Mainly it is uh, in the profile on, of the organization to, to, keep, uh, to keep up the capacity uh, both from the perspective of the board, how they govern the organization with the priority on research and also having uh, the staff who would be capable of uh, carrying on with this expert work. Uh, I see a lot of opportunities within the immune uh, image uh, research projects and I'm talking in plural because there's a lot of research within uh, this uh, consortium so hopefully some of it will finally be implemented in the clinical practice. This will be uh, very nice for us patients and uh, of course our concerns are to have both effective therapies but at the same time with the uh, mild safety profile so to enable a good quality of life and uh, also to have uh, uh, therapies that in some diseases where the lines have to follow one after another as the resistance stops uh, the treatment from working to to have uh, therapies that would enable long period of remission or even like lasting remission with an open end.